Yes, Mr. Chairman, I'm aware that we've lost £800,000 in three months. I'm at the bank now. Yeah, look, I'm just going to explain to them that uh, we've had a small cash flow problem in Europe and that it should be fixed for next year. Well, obviously, I'm going to blame Brexit. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villa and welcome to Season 8, Episode 7 here at H&W World is on the Impossible Dream. And today we have big games in the league. We have a, at the bottom of the table, I think they are close to it, Bellamina, no, Bella Millard. Bellalina, anyway, we played them. Um, we should be winning that one. Then we've got the big local derby against Glen Torrent, who are currently sitting in our third spot in that league. So we'll have to try and knock them down a peg. But um, yeah, the concerning news since last episode is this. We are in at the end of November. And we've already lost 800 grand this season. Uh, we do have money in the bank. It should be sustainable for this year. But if uh, we make a habit of not getting into that group stage in Europe, we are going to have some serious cash flow problems very, very quickly indeed. Uh, so good thing I didn't go and spend all that transfer budget. I moved most of it. Anything we did spend, I just moved into the scouting budget, to be honest. So, yeah. Slight problems. Now, one other thing that has happened since last episode is if we go and have a look at facilities, our uh, training facilities have been upgraded. So we've got below average, both senior and youth facilities. Uh, we're going to have to just hold off a little bit on upgrading those again. I don't think we'll do it this summer just because we don't want this becoming a big problem for us. I think we really have to get into the European group stages. And once we get there, we can reward ourselves with uh, with facility upgrades. So that's disappointing. We'll still look to continue to, to improve the, the youth stuff, though, the recruitment and uh, coaching. But, um, yeah, that's where we're at there right now. Now, that's off the field caught up on. There's a little bit to catch you up on on the field as well. Of course, last episode, we finished with a very creditable 1-1 draw away to Lan. Again, we probably should have won, if we're honest with ourselves. We then faced them a few days later, again at their place in the League Cup quarterfinal. Let's see if we could knock them out. We fell behind in the 17th minute and then had our fate sealed 10 minutes later. So this was really, really disappointing. We were never in this game. You can see the match ratings were absolutely disgraceful. Yes, it wasn't our strongest team. I went with wingers because we played better. Uh, well, we, we looked okay when we played them with wingers in that second game. Oh, sorry, in the league game, I should say. But... Yeah, we were never in this game. 2-0 flatters us, I think. We just... We just... Yeah. Next up, we played Crusaders in the County Antrim Shield. This was the semi-final, so chance of a final. Let's see if we could get there. We took a first-half lead when Wilson's cross found Sean Simpson. Fitzpatrick and Melvin Lambert combined to make it 2-0. before Glenn Murray picked out Wilson to seal our place in the final. This was a really good performance, apart from Boyle, who got himself sent off. They, it, it, we scored after that uh, anyway, so it wasn't as though it was it cost us much, but it could have at 2-0, and we just need to get another left back in, don't we, that can play that role for us. Um, I'm officially washing my hands off him, I think, although I'll probably pick him again. He's one of those, he's so frustrating because he should be decent at this level. Um, mate, I see one of those guys. I think I just need to. Well, his contract's up. Uh, what's that in December? So his contract's almost up. I'm just going to let him go, wash my hands of him. Um, yeah, and then it'll force me to sign somebody else. But anyway, we did get into the final there, which is excellent. I think the final might be against Lan, actually. So that's going to be a tough one, but we'll see how we go there. Uh, so that was Crusaders in the shield. We had them in the league next as well. Let's see if we could uh, double the dose. McQuaid picked out McDay to give us an early lead. Before McDade's flick on was finished by Cargbo to make it 2 0 at half time. Pool's deflected cross was smashed in by Napoleon just after the break. And Jay Williams completed the scoring. So we were absolutely dominant in this game. Look at that XG. They barely threatened us throughout the whole game. Uh, really, really strong performance from us. Could not be happier with that. Uh, so have a quick look at what all that means for the league table. It is Lan in the County Antrim Shield final. So that's going to be tough, but we'll deal with that when we get there. We are, of course, about to enter the ridiculousness that is De uh, December, to a lesser extent. But look at January. It's absolutely outrageous that we have to play that many games. Uh, but it's the same every season. It's the same for everybody. And in the end, sometimes it works in our favor because we have a bit of a stronger squad now than most of the other teams in the league but we can see here we are currently 
well, with a game in hand, which is against bottom of the table, Berlina Millard first up here. Um, we are only five points back. So we win that. We go two points back. We beat them in the second game. And, uh, well, we're third in the league, which is where we want to be this season, isn't it? So let's have a quick look and see what we're doing in this first game against Berlina Millard. That's that. Oh, that's... Uh, League Cup, we're out of that. Um, so a 4-4-2 is what we're expecting from them. And this is the team we're sending out. Now, it's a small selection risk because we have games in quick succession. Um, this is more of a second string side. And the team that played against Crusaders will be the team that comes out against Glen Torrin. So it's Taylor in goal. It's Moran. I said I was done with uh, Boyle. Moran's going to fill in at left back for us. He can, he can do it somewhat, sort of. Um, Coyle, Murphy, and Bain will be at the back four. Bain, of course, our young fullback that came through the academy. I think it was last uh, intake. Very, very good indeed. Uh, Murray and O'Hare go in midfield. It's Wilson, Simpson, and Fitzpatrick with Melvin Lambert going up top. Let's get the win. All right, so we can see the team sheets here. Darnell Mintis, who, of course, we had all the way back in the championship, looked very, very good for us and then left us. Uh, did he go to Lan as well? I think everybody used to go to Lan, didn't they? Uh, what do we say to that? Where the favourites go out, leave them to no doubt why. All right, I can get involved with that. Uh, let's point our fingers, say we have faith in them, and get out there and hopefully smash bottom of the table. But uh, anyway, let's. Uh, oh, well, that's what I need to do. Before I forget, I need to thank a brand new Patreon supporter. Uh, thank you so much to David Watkins. Um, I've been very, very lucky lately with picking up a couple of new Patreon supporters. It's so, so greatly appreciated. Um, I know I say it every time, but uh, if you are able to and you do enjoy my content, there's a link to the Patreon in the description. Um, and yeah, but it's not expected whatsoever. Just watch the ads for me, and that is uh, that is more than enough. And a big thank you, a big welcome aboard to David Watkins, and thank you so much, mate. Greatly appreciated. Uh, all right, I always forget to do that, and it's I feel horrible because it's the least I can do. Obviously, is is thank people, but um, yeah, come on, boys. We have seen us struggle in these sorts of games in the past, haven't we? So I'm really a little bit nervous. Um. But the way I kind of looked at it is that we, we, we cannot afford a good ball for Melvin Lambert. And his shot is saved. Uh, I want to make sure if we play the same team, because I think it's three games in a week. So if we played the same team against Crusaders as we did against um, Glen Torin, that should have been good enough, or it should be good enough to at least get beat Crusaders and hopefully not lose to Glen Torin. What the, the worst thing we're going to do is lose ground to them. Um, and then, you know, even if we don't get a win here, I think it's more important not to lose to Glen Torren, if you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, hopefully these guys will be good enough, though. Can Wilson win that back? Not quite. We're putting decent pressure on them. That should be easy for Coyle. Simpson with a flick on there for Wilson. Melvin Lambert is making a run. Murray's getting through the middle. Fitzpatrick's at the back post. What's Wilson going to do? Well, then he goes himself. And the goalkeeper makes the save. And we're knocking on the door. We just need to walk through it, don't we? Moran with a throw for Simpson. He doesn't quite lose out, but does not having all his own way there. Third time's a charm, mate. Just pass it. Never mind. Can we keep the pressure on them here and win it back? That's uh, not going anywhere. So we've, we've got it back now with Coyle. Coyle gets it forward for O'Hare, who, of course, uh, was one of the signings we made this season. Here we go with Wilson. Wilson beats his man. Wilson with a shot. Wilson goes straight through the goalkeeper. He has a fifth goal of the season, but I think the assist there doesn't go to Simpson. It goes to the using goal, doesn't it? A terrible piece of goalkeeping. He fell straight over the top of it. And 25 minutes in, and it's 1-0. A good ball from Simpson. Wilson beats his man, and the goalkeeper, what is that? Oh, we'll want that one back, won't he? But uh, that's okay. That's not our problem. We'll give him some praise, and hopefully now that we've broken them down, we can... Oh, no. Don't go and give it all away. Get ready for it, Taylor. Neeson over it. Oh, and it is 1-1. Well, that is incredibly annoying, isn't it? Half an hour gone. Lead lasted five minutes. And the first thing we've seen from them that wasn't them trying to defend. And they've stuck it in the back of the net. Infuriating. And we've come straight back for another highlight. Is this us? recapturing our lead or are we about to just throw it all away Darnell Mintis is he going to come back and haunt us Murphy picks that up ball forward Heather away we do pick it up again with Moran Simpson has it over the top looking for Melvin Lambert he's got possession he goes past his man can he find a finish Melvin Lambert's in Melvin Lambert with a dink that is cheeky 
it's classy, and it's 2-1. And we were only level for a matter of seconds. Let's uh, maybe demand more this time. Simpson getting more credit for the assist. I think that's all about Melvin Lambert. He's uh, beaten his man here wonderfully. Got past him, and then the little dink at the end. Oh, that's composure personified, isn't it? Wonderful finish from Melvin Lambert. He's looking good this year. He's, uh, was it eight goals, I think it said. Now, a lot of those are in the cups against lower league opposition. Um, but he's showing that, I mean, scoring goals is... You're still putting the ball on the net no matter who you're playing. And uh, Simpson is running the show out there right now. Moran gets forward. Ball in. Wilson and his header this time is saved by the keeper. Hopefully, as I say, we will protect the lead a little bit more this time. Goalkeeper punts it long. Coils there. Both our central defenders for this one are fairly strong in the air. So that shouldn't be a problem if they want to go long. We should be able to head that away all day. Simpson doing a good job defensively. Ball away. Can O'Hare get to that? He can very acrobatically. Melvin Lambert can't quite bring it under control. And if you hear a noise, that is Morty the cat snoring on my knee here. Fitzpatrick pounces. Forbes was wondering what that sound was as well. And Fitzpatrick sticks it away. That is 3-1. And, well, they've just angered the beast, haven't they? Just angered the beast. Wonderful stuff. Two goals in four minutes. A snoring cat. And, uh... Well, hopefully three points as well. What is Forbes doing there? Too easy for Fitzpatrick, and he is very, very good, I think, Fitzpatrick. I really like him. He's uh, got a little bit of room to grow as well as a play-up, but I think at the level we're at, he's just about as good as we can ask for as a winger. The unambitious is maybe a problem, though I did find in... Um, the Bala Town Impossible Dream last year, that unambitious players weren't always a bad thing because we saw it was a Big Mac, wasn't it? Mac Meyer. He had big offers come in from other clubs and he was happy to stay because he wasn't ambitious. He just was happy to stay with us. So it, to, to a point, it can be a good thing, I think. Um, but of course, development is going to be the issue, isn't it? They may not become the best players they could and that is a penalty. That could be a red card. Was it Milk Smith that brought him down? And... Uh, <laughs> took a dive well we don't like that come on Wilson we're better than that here Simpson with a penalty Simpson sticks it away straight down the middle it's 4-1 before half time and any thoughts of a slip up when they pulled it back to 1-1 they are a bit of a distant memory right now aren't they good penalty from Simpson waited for the goalkeeper to move we'll be generous and say that's what happened stuck it down the middle and that is 4-1 at the break now, is there anybody on the bench that we'd like to give some game time to here? Uh, maybe King. That's probably probably the only one, to be honest. Everybody else there, I'd like to play the second game if possible. Um, all right, what do we say to this? Let's point our arms and say, don't get complacent. Moran's not playing well, so I'm going to tell him I'm not happy with him. He's still complacent. Perfect. And then everybody else will pump our fists and say we have faith in them. Uh, no, pump my fists, not put my hands on my hips. All right, we'll get back out there. What we could do is... The thing with King is that he can play on the right-hand side as an inverted winger. But I think right now stretching the play is working for us. Fitzpatrick's in again here. Can Fitzpatrick get a second? Yes, he can. It's 5-1. Fitzpatrick has two. Who else has the goals? Lambert, Wilson, and Simpson, isn't it? The front four are absolutely running riot here. And having got a goal so early in the second half, I do wonder if there's a chance we can go on with this. Simpson is pulling strings out there, isn't he? Mr. X-Ray Vision, he's the puppet master as well today. And, uh, well, this could be anything if we can go on with it. Um, yeah, King is the only one that I would like to maybe get on the field at some point here. We've got another highlight. Coyle. Across to Murphy. Murphy gets it forward for Simpson. Simpson for Melvin Lambert. Back for Murray. Fitzpatrick's making another run on a hat-trick now as well, of course. Is he evil? He's not going to score from there. Can he pull it back for a teammate? Well, he certainly pulled it back, didn't he? He wasn't expecting that. O'Hare! Oh! What a memorable goal that would have been. It wouldn't be his first. He did get a penalty for us. Um... In a cup game, I think it was, but it would have been a hell of a first league goal. Can we win this ball back now? Balamina Millard try and play some football. We stopped them very, very quickly. Fitzpatrick, oh, not quite the best pass there. 
Coyle heads it down for Murray. This is absolute domination, isn't it? We just look... Well, I don't want to say too much because they'll probably score now, but we do just look as though we're just a step ahead of them, don't we? It looks like pros versus semi-pros, and that's a good thing. That's what it should look like. And Mintus is in. Mintus does come back and haunt us, and it's 5-2, and it's a goal fest, the 10th of the season for Darnell Mintus. Um, he's not really good enough for us anymore. I did try for the longest time to bring him back because it was so frustrating. So if you remember... I think it was. It might have even been the very first season. We signed him on a non-contract. And at the time, we couldn't really do much else other than that. And he ended up going to... I'm sure it was Lan, And then Lan just never used him. He never played for him. So I was kept trying to get him back because he did look quite good for us in the half a season or so that we had him. There's another cracking ball. It's Wilson in. Wilson! This time, the goalkeeper makes the save. And uh, yeah, but he's just not quite good enough for us now. But he is still a decent, a decent player. Hughes claims that, and that was indeed the highlight. And Melvin Lambert has picked himself up an injury. Well, that's not really what we wanted, is it? Could Wilson play as a striker? Not with finishing a four. Could Fitzpatrick? Not with finishing a three. Could King? Not with finishing a that. Okay, well, I don't want to bring McDade on. I don't want to bring Napoleon on. So King... Go and have some fun up front, mate. Um, yeah, I mean, we're not going to have any sort of physical presence up there, but we'll just see what happens. It's uh, 20 minutes to play. It's not going to be that bad, is it? Fitzpatrick wins it back. King makes a run through the middle. What can he do? Fitzpatrick on a hat trick, of course. Simpson has it now. Simpson with a great ball for Wilson, and Wilson gets his second. It's 6-2. It's Wilson's sixth as well. And uh, we've got both our wingers on hat tricks now. And with 20 minutes to play, there is still an opportunity for this game to really get out of hand. It's a shame we conceded two. Now, what is our record win? I think... I can't remember now. I think we pumped somebody in a cup game, didn't we? And we had a couple of really good results in Europe last year as well in the quali early qualifying rounds. So... I'm not sure if we're getting close or not. Let's just keep praising them, though. And, um, well, it's a good afternoon's work, isn't it? Ball in, head it away. Murray should pick that up. Wilson, Fitzpatrick, both on hat-tricks, of course. Murray. Oh, it's a terrible pass. And here come Bellina Millard forward. Wilson and O'Hare look to close down colour. Look at Wilson go. He's so quick. Can he get a tackle in? No, he can't. Cross to the back post. We don't want to concede a third, and Mintus has got a second. It's 6-3. It's an absolute goal fest. And, um, yeah, we're just... We've seen it before from us, haven't we? Second half, we do have a bit of a nasty habit of fading out of games. Thankfully, it's usually games that we've already got won. But not always. Um, let's maybe give it a focus. And that should be that. What this is doing, of course, is it's a game that we've absolutely dominated. And it's hurt, it's it's hurting goal difference in the sense that it should have been a plus... Uh, what do we want to say to that? We'll just say we're happy. It should have been a plus six day. Instead, it's a plus three. And you can see our goal difference is lagging behind the other teams that are up there. But ultimately, we've got the win. And that's the main thing. So, Wolf Welders outscore Berlina Millard in a thriller. I wouldn't say it was a thriller. We were always relatively comf uh, comfortable, weren't we? Melvin Lambert with a groin strain. Now, that's not ideal because we only really have the three first-choice strikers right now. So, it's not... That leaves us with a little bit of a problem up there. Tommins, our former player, has been sacked. Uh, bad luck, mate. And... Um, Mr. X-Ray Vision, look at that. One goal, four assists, nine key passes... That's a game of football, isn't it? What a performance from Sean Simpson. Guys, wait right there. It's a local derby. It's a big one. It's a third place derby next against Glen Torin. Let's see if we can uh, well, go above them in the table with a win. Okay, welcome back. Here we go. Away at Glen Torin. This is going to be a big game. It could be a tough, well, it's going to be a tough game. But if we can win, uh, we will go up above them to third in the league, which will be a good place to be. Let's have a look at what we're expecting from them here. A 4 4 2. And uh, this is the team we're sending out. It's much better in terms of uh, squad strength. So it's uh, Taylor in goal. Edgar Williams and Sobawale as the back three. Hall down the right. McCulloch down the left. McQuaid and Cundell in midfield. It's uh, Napoleon in behind. Cargbo and McDade. 
if you're wondering, Joe Willis, not quite back fit as of yet. Um, so that is uh, that is why we have Kandel in midfield and Mickey Bain is uh, is suspended after yellow card accumulation from the last game. So that is uh, that's the squad news. Let's get out there. Okay, so we can see the team sheets there. I don't recognize any former players of ours, so there's not be any Darnell Mintus uh, issues with former players coming back to haunt us. We've been on a good run lately. Go out there and impress me. We can get on board with that. We'll point our fingers. We'll say that we have faith in them, and we will get out there and hopefully get three points. Now, apparently, Glenn Torin are the Premiership's leading goal scorers, so that's slightly concerning, considering we conceded three to the bottom team. <laughs> but uh, that's just a one-off. That's fine. I'm sure we'll deal with things as best we can here. Um, we do obviously have the extra centre-back for this one as well. Um, so that could be important, given they have the Devlin brothers up front. So, yeah, I, I think this one, as much as anything, it is a bit of a must-not-lose so early in the season. It is only a two-point gap, so it's it's still salvageable, but we don't really want that going back out. That's some nice football there. McDade with a nice run in behind McDade. Oh. Can only find the goalkeeper and is the highlight going to continue here it looks as though it is no it's not um yeah i think it is a little bit of a, of a must not lose game as i say but if we can win obviously that would be wonderful if we go to their place and come away with the three points mcdade's in again here looks to bend it around the goalkeeper couldn't quite manage it and kagba why would you do that mate we should have had a corner ah oh, stupid all right. Well, I mean, we're, we're doing really well. We're essentially dominating the game, but uh, we haven't got a goal as of yet. And it looks as though it's not going to come before half time for us. So nil, nil at the break. We've been the better team. Um, keep doing as you're doing and you will be fine. I can get on board with that. We'll pump our fists. We'll say we have faith in you. And we'll get back out there. We do have the option of wingers. I do have Fitzpatrick and Wilson on the bench. Um, the issue with wingers again, it's that we have to, we can only really play two center backs with wingers and they do have that, uh, that duo up top. So I do like to have the extra man though. Maybe given they haven't really threatened too badly, we could look to change things. We've got a corner Napoleon in for Cargbo and Cargbo's head up. Sails just over the top. Edgar now stands over a free kick short for McQuaid. McQuaid to Edgar to Napoleon beats one. Napoleon for McDade. Can McDade third time's a charm? No, it's not. Can he keep it in? Can we get a second ball in? He's had a bit of an air swing and it's going to be a throw in. And what have we got here? A free kick. Napoleon to take. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Napoleon. Oh, it's a stunner from Napoleon. It's 1 0. And that is what he can do. Napoleon, our Australian midfielder. Go on, son. And he has, uh, well, he's bent in a bit of a screamer there. Long way out. Bend, whip, goalkeeper's no idea. And it is 1-0 over Glenn Torin. As things stand, we go third in the league. Who with a throw for Cargbo. Can we go and start and pile on a few goals here now? There's a good ball for Napoleon. Oh, he's brought down as well. Is that not a penalty, ref? He seemed to get a lot of, uh, a lot of Napoleon. But anyway, McDade is... Just slightly too slow to get onto Kundel's uh, pass. And the highlight is becoming a bit of a long, old, scrappy one. McCulloch has it. He gets it forward, looking for McDade. No, again, slightly overhit. Goalkeeper rushes off his line and claims it. This is an incredibly long highlight now, and I'm getting a little bit nervous as to how this is going to end. Oh, it's a loose pass from McQuaid. Devlin. McCulloch on the cover. Can he get back in time? He, oh, post saves us. Still there. Oh, and it's a block from Edgar. Flick on from McDade, and still this highlight continues. Let's maybe just give it a focus, shall we? Maybe back it off of attacking as well. Focus in, boys. Focus in. Um, they're going very, very attacking now. Do we look to stick in a more defensive midfielder? Do I have O'Hare on the bench? It might be one for him. McQuaid, can he stop across? He can. Cargbo has it. Can we get them on the break? McDade is with him. Napoleon is with him. Can Cargbo pick a pass? He goes backwards. Hall, though, there's a good one for Napoleon. Can he get across in? McDade is lurking. We go back, edge of the area. And again, Napoleon has it. Hall. He plays it back to McDade. McQuaid even. And it hits the post. It would have been a goal of the season contender from McQuaid. And the post has robbed us of that. Hall with five minutes to play. 
finds Napoleon. Napoleon goes past his man. Napoleon, edge of the area for McCulloch, and McCulloch sticks it away. His first of the season, and it's 2-0, and that should now be that. Napoleon has done really, really well in this one. Much, much better. And, um, well, it's looking as though it's going to be a very nice win indeed for us. Napoleon nutmegs his opponent there, and... Good finish from McC uh, McCulloch. What's well, too many Macs in this team? Um, yeah, good finish from McCulloch, though. We've got another highlight. Jay Williams stands over it. Short for Cundell. I'm beginning to wonder if Cundell and McQuaid might be... Look at that pass. It might be the better midfield duo, and that is missed by McDade. Um, yeah, Cundell just has a really good range of passing, and I think we've seen that again here. And I do wonder if maybe those are our best two uh, midfielders now instead of Joe Willis. But anyway, that's a really, really huge win and a huge performance from us as well. We don't always show up in these big games, but we've sure as hell shown up there. So there we go. We do move third in the table. And yes, they have games in hand on us, but only three points back of Linfield and Lahn. Um, So, I mean, they've got to go and win those games. You'd imagine they would. But uh, maybe one of them's against each other and they can draw it for us. But there we go. We turn dominance into victory against Glen Torin. Two very good wins there. Much, much better defensive performance. Napoleon, that's what we I thought you were all about. We make it eight unbeaten in the league now, uh, including a game away to Larn, which is quite the achievement for us. And guys, that will do it for today. If you have enjoyed that, do make sure you hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Uh, we can see everything there, the way that the season is shaping up for us. And we'll be back next time. Now, we will come back for... Maybe some festive football just before the January window. Because we'll go to Linfield and then we'll play Coleraine. And we can have a little bit of a discussion at that point as to what we think we need to do coming into this uh, into this January window. Left back, we need a, we need a backup for McCulloch. Uh, Boyle will be leaving at the end of his contract. And we do need somebody there. But otherwise... Yeah, we'll just have to, we'll, we'll have the conversation at the time. Until then, guys, if you've enjoyed that, hit thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you as we go to Linfield and face Coleraine. Take care.